So we built an echolocation system, and the way it works is it sends out sonar pulses at 25 kilohertz, and it's able to detect the um, echo by basically reading ADC channels that correspond to the microphones. Um, and we're able to degree a pretty high degree of accuracy and distance um, by amplifying our signal quite a great degree. And you have three sensors there because... So we have three sensors in order to improve the accuracy. So we do a lot of averaging um, with the echo times. And with one of our features, the perturbation detection, we can actually achieve a lot greater um, precision with the perturbations if we have three microphones. So perturbation means like out of plane reflectances and so yeah, on. Yeah, correct. Okay. And this is important for like surveying purposes and sure, engineering. Sure. Okay, so you're bouncing this right now off of this so right fairly we, flat surface over here. So if I turn it on, so there's this button to turn it on with, uh -huh. I, can, I can detect the distance. Right now it's telling me it's about 0.86 meters away. And, and what's the blue uh, flickering circle That's there? our own little crude version of a VR uh, display. So oh, as sir. you get closer, the circle will get bigger. Got it, okay. Then if I go out, I can go out to around two meters. So in the event that you're hanging out in the dark or okay. something, you yeah. a little image. Okay, so let me look in the front of this thing. So there's three transmitting modules in the center and then uh, three receivers around the edge. Mm -hmm. And and you, you 3D printed a, a, a shroud so that they're a little bit isolated from each other. Yeah, okay. and we also put some foam um, in between the speaker and the holder to uh -huh. ensure that there's not a lot of acoustic noise that creates right. the system. Hey, let's see inside. Yeah, let's look inside. So you've got you've got the the transducers there, and then you've got a pile of nine volt batteries. How what voltage are you running the 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 transmitter at? So the speaker is running at twenty eight volts, and we achieved that by using five nine volt batteries in series with a twenty eight volt Zener diode. Okay, just to keep it. Regulated because you need right. a good repeatable transmission. Exactly, and then we need to have this capacitor um, that straddles our our high voltage line and ground to ensure that when the PWM signal goes high, it doesn't end up um, causing a lot of disturbances in our in our rail lines. Okay, it's the big capacitor. Okay, and we're point to the capacitor. Stop. Oh, there it is. I got it. <laughs> yeah. And then the PIC32 board is down on the bottom there, mm -hmm. and you have an extender out for the TFT display. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, we can also test the perturbation. Okay, now bring it back. Yeah. So I turn it back on. In order to switch the modes, I press this button, and then if I... And the, the perturbation can be calibrated with different thresholds. So right now it's at a pretty low threshold, but it's mostly designed for putting things in front of it. But if I, were if I were to decrease the threshold, then it would be able to detect if I were if that surface were to tilt ever so slightly. Walk walk towards it so I can get more of this in the in the camera. Okay, now go out in front of it and, and, and wave that thing around again. So no perturbations. Oh, should like angle it. So you then it's showing that you're getting a lot of variation there. Yeah. Right. Okay. And sometimes you'll notice it flickers like true even while holding it because uh, you're not holding it stable. Right. Put it against the table, it'll be perfectly well, perfectly, perfectly no false positives. Okay. Very nice. Okay, thank you.